Welcome. This is the Weekly Bugger, edition 63, and I am your host Ivy. As of today we have a new starting time of out of the premiere Thursday show. But if you watch the show from an old playlist this will of course make no difference. For the ones that are new here, every show we create a playlist to make the show run smoothly and with no need of constantly switching channels. This playlist is always in the description box below and is well pinned in the side chat. You can find these playlists on our special channel called Premiere Thursday. This has some original videos but is mostly to host the playlists. The link is also in the description box below. Perhaps a good idea to subscribe and switch on the notifications so you will never miss our show. Everyone who premieres videos on YouTube is welcome to join and include their premieres in our show. For information you can leave a message in the comments or simply join our Discord server. As many of you have watched live on YouTube, the NASA Artemis 1 space mission has been launched. It lifted off at 1.47, Eastern Daylight Time, on the 16th of November. Here is a short clip of the launch which went flawless and was a really impressive sight. GLS go for core stage to internal power. The rocket's core stage, which houses the three flight computers, is now on battery power. So there is no more hold time available because there's no more margin on the battery. So if we hold, have a hold, we'd have to recycle back to T-minus 10 minutes and recharge those batteries. What? The count continues. Hey. A note now, shortly after liftoff. I love space videos, and this is my show. One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T-minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer. On board the rocket, it will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus two. GLS, is go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The space launch system is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen yeah, burnoff off igniters initiate. Seven. Six. Five. Four stage engine start. Three. Two. One. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Carrying good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q in about 1 minute and 9 seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison in about 2 minutes and 11 seconds into the flight, so about 30 seconds from now. Again, quiet here in Mission Control Houston as teams continue monitoring the flight of Artemis 1. We're now 16 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, traveling over 2,800 miles per hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison and shortly thereafter.
This mission is unmanned, and aboard the spacecraft are only dummies in space suits. When I attended the live chat on the M2M YouTube channel, people suggested they could be related to Mannequin Skywalker, the dummy test pilot of Blue Origin. But I had a different idea, I think they are the brothers of the SpaceX Starman. However, there is no way to check that because they are too far away to ask. Or are they? As regular viewers know, we, of the Weekly Bugger have powerful space contacts and they provided us the following footage. I won. As you can see, the SpaceX Starman steered his Tesla to briefly rendezvous with the spacecraft to wish his brothers a good trip. As Buster, from the TV show, Mythbusters, would say, it's a small step of man, but a giant leap for crash test dummies. I hope you enjoyed this space launch special. Join us again in a week, for more incredible space news.